Good day, New York. It's Wednesday, December 12th. I'm Jody Applegate. And good morning, everyone. I'm Ron Corning. Thank you for joining us. Uh, but we digress. Also, the Waffle Guy will be joining us live right outside our studio. Yes, he's driving around New York, filling our tummies with something warm and delicious this holiday season. And he's going to be making waffles for us coming up in a little while. Yeah, to this point, when we've talked about the Waffle Guy, people think we're referencing one of the presidential candidates. <laughs> it was like, yes, I'm for it. No, I'm against it. Right. But it's no, this that. is the true thing. The true waffle guy is here. Yes, indeed. Right now, the true weatherman, Mike Woods, is here to tell us about the snow, and he is not waffling on the forecast. No. Nope. Or, or are you? Well, stop that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lead me into it. Uh, You're watching Good Day New York from the most powerful name in local news, Fox 5 News. Good morning. My name is Thomas de Geest. I am the special envoy for waffles from the Belgian Ministry of Culinary Affairs. I invite you to come and have some waffles at 67th Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenue today. Try some of our delicious light and crispy waffles. Good day, New York. Yes, good day, Thomas. Thank you for joining us this morning. What a special treat this is. And yeah, come down and join us here outside the studios. Hey, Thomas. Do you have any English muffins? Get it, Just Tom. waffles. No, no. <laughs> uh, well, I wouldn't want to cause an international incident between the U.S. and Belgium, oh so my I'm going to have to indulge. That's pretty, that's pretty amazing. Ann Craig is here as well, getting her hands in the waffle. Hey, Ann. With my mouth full. Good morning. Coming up here this morning in our Ask Andy segment, we're going to be talking about this whole idea of honesty when it comes to cheating. I suppose you have to give a guy or a gal credit when they want to confess what's really happening behind the scenes. But is it a good idea? When should you do it? It's part of our Ask Andy segment coming up here this hour. Do I have chocolate on my teeth? No, you don't. I once had a boyfriend who cheated on me and then told me that he had cheated on me. And how did you feel about that? Well, I should have just You've broken up. You've been married up. to him for 10 no, years. No, no, no. This was many, 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 <laughs> 10,000 years ago. But I, he just wanted to get off his chest. But it was ultimately a really selfish thing for him to do. You know what really? I mean? Really? That's how you felt he about it? He put it on me and then made me break up with him eventually. Anyway. He was sabotaging the relationship, maybe. Exactly. He wanted to break up, but he wasn't man enough to do it. Ah, well, that's interesting. Also, stocking stuffers. <laughs> on a much lighter note, if you are having a happy romantic holiday, or any kind of holiday for that matter, we'll have some great ideas for inexpensive small items that aren't just sort of throwaway stuff. Really things that people are going to enjoy getting in their stocking this holiday season. But right now, let's find out what Mike Woods has in store for us this week, because there's a lot of weather coming our way, right, Mike? Sure is, Jody. All right, Inez, thank you very much. Anne is about town, and finally she has located the WMD. <laughs> waffle of massive deliciousness. Oh, and Jody, of Thomas look, the Waffle Man. Look at that deliciousness right there. That is not just chocolate. We're not talking Hershey's. We're talking Belgian chocolate. And that's what makes this waffle truck so amazing. Check it out. Can we get a wide shot, please? You'll only see one of these yellow trucks all around the city. It's waffles and dinghies. Did I say that right? You say it perfect. <laughs> <laughs> now tell people what a dinghies is. Well, a dinghies is a, is a Belgian slang word. It's a Flemish slang word. It means stuff. It means anything, anyone. It can be, and we use it basically to talk about our, our topics. Well, we got Ron Corning in here salivating. Some of your our topics show is are like news and dingus. <laughs> <laughs> news and stuff. Exactly. Yes. Now you have two different types of waffles that are making New Yorkers just salivate. What are those kinds? Exactly. We have uh, the traditional waffle, which is the Brussels waffle. It's close to what you know. This is the Brussels waffle, light and crispy. This is the Liège waffle, it's soft and chewy, it's very different. It's a waffle that Belgium never really let go. And it's the first time we bring it to America. Uh, it's a very nice and flavorful waffle. All right, Thomas, teach me the art of making a waffle. All right, here we go. We'll open that, look at this ladle, this is massive size. They don't make these waffle trucks taller than six feet, apparently. Thomas and I are a little too tall for them. <laughs> you guys, Ron and Jody, what's so amazing about Thomas is just months ago, he was an IBM consultant making a six-figure salary. You left that hefty paycheck to come make waffles. That's right, that's right. But I got a call from the uh, Belgian Ministry of Culinary Affairs. They told me, you know, Thomas, we have a big problem in New York and we have a big problem in America. We need to do something about the quality of waffles. <laughs> and um, it's your waffle quality control. 
That's, uh, absolutely, that's your absolutely. We are we are bringing back the original Belgian waffles to New York. Because you are from Belgium, so when you got to New York, could you find a decent waffle in town? I traveled all over the country in my job as a consultant for IBM, and everywhere I went, I found waffles that were really made of pancake batter. Uh. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Not the authentic. This is the authentic the international the, incident. When you try this, you'll find it is delicious. But the only way to keep New Yorkers really happy is to feed them. <laughs> <laughs> Give them for hint. Do you uh, want that with chocolate yeah. and whipped cream? I want it with the works. The <laughs> dingers, all the dingers you have. Double I'm putting them. on it. Yeah. I want something with Nutella, because I love Nutella. I bought some whipped cream for you. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, there we go. I'm speaking fake Flemish here. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that would sound like. <laughs> no. This is, um, this is light for your body, right? It's uh, fat free. Oh yeah, this makes you live a lot longer. You actually lose weight when you eat these, I hear. <laughs> yes. yeah, mo most importantly, it makes you smile. Heck yeah. Oh yeah. That's critical. Here we go. Will that do for you? Yes. All right. How uh, do you say thank you in Belgian? Very so simple. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey guys, Tom is located all over the city. Like I said, there's only one. So on the weekends, he's on the yeah. Upper West Side in front of Fairway. Today, until 9 o'clock, he's right in front of our studios at 67th between 2nd and 3rd. Yeah, we want people to come down and join us here. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you, Ann. We'll be back with them coming up in the next hour. In the meantime, we need to let you know a couple of storms are headed our way.